Okay, so you might have recently got this message come up on your screen when trying to view videos on YouTube saying ad blockers are not allowed on YouTube. It looks like you may be using an ad blocker. Ads allow YouTube to stay free for billions of users worldwide. You can go ad free with YouTube Premium and creators can still get paid from your subscriptions. Well, I noticed that some of you probably can't warrant paying for YouTube Premium. You don't use it enough. It might well be the case you can't afford to have YouTube Premium. So how do you still carry on enjoying YouTube videos whilst keeping your ad blocker active? This guide is going to show you how you can banish these messages on YouTube for good whilst keeping your ad blocker still running. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say recently, you might have got a message coming up on your screen when viewing a video on YouTube saying ad blockers are not allowed on YouTube and they're stopping you from viewing the videos that you've always viewed and loved. Now this is obviously because you do have something blocking adverts on your system. It could be an add-on you've put on there. It could be your system security software. So how do you allow yourself to watch these videos once again without compromising your security um, without turning your ad blocker off. Well, first of all, what you've got to do is you've got to find your ad blocker on your browser. Now, usually if you go up to a jigsaw puzzle in the top right hand corner, say if you're using Chrome, if you're using Edge, again, it's a different shaped kind of jigsaw puzzle. Go up to that. If you're using Firefox, then you might not have anything up there at all. So you might need to find it in the three horizontal lines or you might see the jigsaw puzzle just up there. And then what you've got to do is you've got to find your, your ad blocker. Now, I'm going to show you in the most popular ad blockers. So first of all, ad block plus. So what we want to do is we want to click on ad block plus and then we've got a simple setting there that says block ads on this website. And there you go. YouTube is listed there. Now, if we just turn this toggle switch off, OK, that means that it will allow ads to be shown on YouTube so that you're not contravening any rules, um, but it will turn itself back on if you go to other websites. So what if you've got uBlock Origin installed? Then just again, click on the jigsaw piece, click on uBlock Origin, and there you go. There's an on off button there. And if it's highlighted in blue, then it means the ad blocker is on for the website listed above. If I click on the little power button there, there you go. It goes gray. Hit that button there, the arrows. That's the refresh button. And then that refreshes the page. And uh, that means that whenever you're on YouTube, then adverts will allowed to be will be allowed to be shown and you won't get that message come up but if you go to any other websites it will reactivate itself for them so what if you've got another famous ad blocker ad guard so again click on the jigsaw click on ad guard blocker and there you go there's your on off switch there just when you're on on youtube just turn it off and that will remember in future to turn off the ad blocker in youtube how about if you've got Malware Bytes Browser Guard? We'll again click on the jigsaw, click on Malware Bytes Browser Guard, and if this comes up, untick this here and then click Let's Go. Click on Next, 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 and Done. And then all you've got to do whilst you're on YouTube is turn off ads stroke trackers and that means every time you go to YouTube, you'll find you won't get this message but you'll still find that it will keep AdGuard on for other websites, even though you've turned it off here. And what if you've got DuckDuckGo? Well, DuckDuckGo protects you against a whole host of privacy issues, but one of them is adverts. So again, if you click on the uh, little extensions, jigsaw puzzle click on duck duck go privacy essentials and then what you have to do is you have to turn off the whole lot for the site so you have to click on this here they go that turns it off and uh, and then that'll allow adverts again just on youtube alone it will get turned back on don't worry if you go to other websites and what about if you've got total ad block? So again, click on the jigsaw puzzle, click on total ad block, and then just turn it off by hitting that there when you're actually on the website. 
And there you go, it says ad blocking is paused for that particular website. Again, it will turn on when you go to other websites. So there you go, that showed you how to turn off ad blocking in YouTube on probably the most used ad blockers out there to allow you to still carry on watching these videos that you absolutely love without interruption and without this ad blockers are not allowed on YouTube message from appearing. If you've got a different type of ad blocker, then hopefully the principles of turning it off whilst using YouTube are exactly the same. But if not, let us know what ad blocker you're using in the comments down below and let us know what procedure you use to turn ad blocking off on any particular website. If you've got an ad blocker which is focused on blocking ads in YouTube, then unfortunately you're going to have to remove that altogether. And I'll just show you how to remove a, an extension or an ad blocker. All you do is again, just click on the jigsaw puzzle. Okay. And then click on the three dots just beside it. And there's an option there to remove it. Or in some cases, you might be able to go to manage extension and just temporarily turn that off whilst you're using that particular website. But then if it's focused on YouTube, then it will be turned off all the time, really. So you're probably better off removing it by clicking on the jigsaw, the three dots, and then remove from your browser and then click remove again just to uh, confirm. So there you go. I hope you like this video. And if you did consider hitting that like button and making a donation to this channel, or if you're in the market for a new Fire Stick or a VPN or a Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories, or just want to have a look around my Amazon store, have a look in the description down below. There's some links down there for you. Donating, buying and subscribing really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to put aside more time to really research and bring you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And by the way, if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your relatives, or your work colleagues might like, please don't forget to share them on your social media timelines. Thanks very much for watching.